Hi, my name is Dan aka Dansky and in this quick video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to take a photo and turn it into a Polaroid in Photoshop. Now one simple way you could do this is you could right click, go to blending options and add a drop shadow. And this is a relatively simple way, you can adjust all the values here and it will allow you to create a shadow. But sometimes you might want to go for something that is a little bit more believable, a bit more real. So what I'm going to do is I've got my photo of my ridiculous face here. Apologies in advance, but we're going to double click our background. Just call it background again. And because many Polaroids will be right white, um, we're going to make that a slightly off white color just so we can actually see our Polaroid when we've created it. So I'm going to set that to a sort of very, 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 very light gray and then just lock that layer so I don't move it. I'm going to create a new layer above our photo and just select the rectangle tool and we're going to draw a square. It's exactly the same size as the photo. Okay, we're going to make that square white and just drag that layer underneath. And then we're going to press what we're we going to press. We're going to go to Edit and Free Transform. That's Apple T on the Mac, Control T on the keyboard, and holding Shift and Alt to scale it from the middle, we're just gonna drag it out like this to create the edge of our Polaroid, and then just drag down, or it depends on the kind of Polaroid you're creating, but some of them have this space at the bottom here. So we've got that, okay? So as I said in the beginning, you could apply a drop shadow to that, and you're done. But we're gonna try and create something a little bit more believable. So I'm just gonna call this layer here, Polaroid. I'm going to right click, hit duplicate, and then click OK. Drag that underneath and rename this layer shadow. Now this is where the, we're going to do the shadow that's a little bit more believable. So we're just going to make that shadow layer black so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to again go to edit, free transform, no we're not, sorry. We're going to go to edit, transform, and then warp. And we're just going to take this bottom right point and just pull that out down and to the right a little bit. Okay, not too much. Like that. I'll just zoom in so you can see. And then we're going to right click the shadow layer and rasterize it. So now that's not recognized as a shape anymore. It's just a layer in Photoshop that we can do anything to. Okay, so the next thing to do is we're going to go to filter, blur. Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, however you say it, and we're just going to add, let's try 2, 2.0, okay, just to blur it all a little bit, and then we're just going to nudge it down and to the right, we don't want the, the shadow appearing on this left and this top edge, so we're just going to nudge that to the right a bit, and then again, I'm just going to scale it down. So hopefully you should have something that looks like that. So you can kind of see the effect I'm going for where this bottom right edge of the Polaroid is just curling up a little bit. It just gives it a bit more depth rather than it being a consistent uh, drop shadow width all the way around the edge. So now what we're going to do, because this edge is curling up, there's going to be a greater distance between the Polaroid and the canvas. So this part of the shadow here, this sort of tip, that's going to be a lot fainter and a lot more blurred. So we're just going to, just using the blur tool, just blur it manually a little bit. Okay. If you can hear that tapping in the background, that's the sound of my, my tablet. <laughs> then what we're going to do, so we blur this a little bit and we just want to add a, a layer mask to our shadow. Select the brush tool, make sure you've got black selected so it will cut away from the mask and then just just slowly start to fade that bottom bit in the bottom right and you can spend a lot more time than me doing this just till you get it so you're happy and then you can also just trim away some of these edges here a little bit so it doesn't run all the way to the edge it depends really what kind of angle you're looking to have your Polaroid um, sit on. OK, 
Okay. And then one last thing you can do, this is entirely up to you, is just drag over your everything. Uh, and then just edit, free transform, and we'll just move it to the right. Just so it looks as though you've placed this Polaroid on the canvas or on a surface. Or you just literally dropped it down so it's not perfectly straight. Okay, I hope that tutorial was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments below, or please leave a like, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers!